being here with our old friend Vince Colasurto, football coach here at Shady Spring. And Vince, you got to be really happy for the young man out of the uh, time. Signed today, he had a lot of injuries over his career. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to come out with a scholarship. That has to be pleasing to you as his coach for four years. Oh, no doubt. Uh, you know, him coming up, up his freshman year, Sky was the limit for him. And uh, I had his older brother uh, a couple years before that and got to know Zay Zay when he was a little, you know, younger kid and always up here at the field house hanging around the field. And he's a good, good boy. And, uh, you know, tons of talent. Uh, you know, good speed, but uh, good knack. And sky was the limit for him in, in football and track, and, and then even in basketball too. And, uh, you know, injuries, just the injury bug, just one of those bad luck deals. It seemed like as soon as he'd get going, uh, be an ankle, you know, legitimate, all stuff that's just part of the game and, and, and you wish wouldn't happen to him, but it did. Uh, then track was a sport that he he was uh, solid in. You know, freshman year wins the 400, and you know a little less contact, and and you know as long as you keep those muscles from pulling and things like that, uh, it's a sport that he excelled in. And uh, yeah, tickled you know with this football injury this year. Uh, that had to be devastating. Scare, coach. Devastating, because yeah. not just because you lose your quality player, just the quality, the type of player and type of person he is. I said that a hundred times. I didn't care about wins and losses with that boy. Uh, you know, coaches get caught up in that. Um, I think they're a little selfish because uh, you know he's one of those kids that's done everything I've asked of him and a big part of big part of our program and. I'm sure you've heard from coaches, and I, one story I remember, and I probably should have related to him as well, I'm sure he knew about it, after the Independence game, we had his goods and asked him, yeah. have you seen Isaiah Valentine, do you know he's here? Yeah. Because he wanted to just speak with him. Does that kind of kind of speak to the kind of person Isaiah is? That oh, yeah. Even his opponents. Yeah, yeah. He's a great person. Yeah, he, he, he's a good kid. He really is, and he's always been that way, and he's uh, competed, you know, been straightforward. And, you know, one that he helps the freshman. He was one of these kids that you'd come up, you'd see him helping them run routes or do a certain drill, or uh, you know, he always Even after the injury. Oh, thing. always, always. You know, he was up there cheering us on, and uh, boy, it was heartbreaking. You know, when he when he well, did yeah, get hurt. I think hurt. you and I talked after the game. You were getting ready to go to the hospital. Yeah. To see him. I mean, was he? Is he the kind of guy that was with you for four years? Type of person. He's almost like a son. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. He, Always a track, you know, four years if you, you know, track, I'm not his direct coach, but uh, we do our track together, you know, the girls and boys, and I don't work with the sprinters, and he's a sprinter, but we're out there together every day. And uh, probably if you counted the amount of days me and him has been together and sat and have talked, there's been a lot of days. So you talk about like a son, of course, because, uh, you know, many conversations with Isaiah and, and, and he's asked for advice and we've talked and I've given him advice even if he hasn't asked and, and he's taken it. He's treated me with great respect through all the times that I've known that him. Has a, says something about the way he's brought up, right? Oh, no doubt. Was, I no remember doubt. coming up here, he was the first one at my car. Yeah. Asking me how I was doing. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just kind of the kind of kid he is. That, mean, that is the kind of kid he is. You have a trap background yourself. He is... The, it's a 400, and as Coach Beckett said, he'd like to maybe bump him the 800. He's going to be doing that in college. Yeah. Is it, those are two of the, those are, without doubt, the hardest runs to run. Does that kind of say something about him? Yeah. And especially that he could step up as a freshman and win that 400? Oh, no doubt. 400. You'll get these sprinters that uh, I think they, they get it. <laughs> <laughs> they, I call them prima donnas, the the wide pretty receivers. boys. The yeah, you know, hey, track, right? all I'm going to do is run the one and the two hundred. And uh, I like when they tell the coach that's what they're that's all they're going to do because we're like, no, it, true sprinters. They're one, two, four, and that four is the one. Sometimes they don't like the most. It hurts. It's tough. It gets he, down in your he heart. He jumped right in. He jumped team. in and said, definitely so, coach. Four hundred is what I need to do. Sometimes you sell the 400 by saying, it's going to get you better in the two and the one, which it will. Right. It'll make them better at it, but that's how you sell it and <laughs> get them doing it. And then they find out they're real good at that, too, because a sprinter should be. If you had to 
sum up Isaiah, the kind of person he is, the athlete he is in one sentence, what would you say about him? One sentence about Isaiah? Uh, I'd say first and foremost respectful, um, very likable, and uh, uh, super talented, but you know, other than that, uh, I would definitely say just a great to coach no type doubt. of kid. No doubt he'll be successful in college in your mind. Oh, I, I, I'm telling you, I keep saying there's something good headed your way. There has to be. You just keep your, you know, keep your mind straightened on the right things and, and your nose to the grinding stone and uh, big things will come this way. It makes me think of this. Have you seen a kid have to endure as much as he has? To no, come out with no. With the attitude he has? No, none. Uh, because that might bury a lot of kids. And, and, it, and it has in him. As soon as he was able to get back after this last injury, which was a serious injury, um, he was back to work and sending me videos and, and letting me know how he's doing. If it was just lifting his leg, he was sending it and saying, Coach, I'm getting close. I'm, I'm getting back and I'm starting to work. And he did it continuously. And I was always like, this I was like, Isaiah, you go, boy, I'm, I'm a proud of you on all of it. This kind of sums up the good things happen to good people saying, right? Definitely, and I think there's even better, better things for him if he continues to uh, have this attitude. Vince, I appreciate the time. Thank you, my friend. No problem at all. Thanks.